as we talked about before, we are continuing with Jan Brett week with the umbrella written and illustrated by Jan Brett. Now you guys know she wrote the words and drew the pictures. She's super talented. We have already read the mitten and the hat and honey, honey, lion. Now we are reading about the umbrella. You'll have to pay attention. There are some words in this book in a different language called Spanish. This is about the umbrella and it's about this boy that goes into the jungle looking for animals. We'll find out his name in a minute. Hey, little Carlos, where are you going with that umbrella? Into the cloud forest, Papa, to see what I can see. I'll be spotting a jaguar and a monkey. For sure, I'll spy a toucan and a kinkajou. And I'll keep my eyes peeled for a shy tapir. Buena suerte, Carlos. Say buena suerte. That means good luck, Papa says. So there's Carlos. And do you see what he's holding? An umbrella because it is wet and rainy in the rainforest or the jungle. So he's going to use it to keep himself dry. Uh -oh. Carlos walked in to the cloud forest. That's what he called it because the clouds hung so low. Oh, how silent it is. Sit down. The only sound is the drip, drip, drip of drops falling from the tall trees. There's not so much as a tiny tree frog down here. I'll have to climb up for a better view. Carlos drops his umbrella right there and climbs the giant fig tree. He's going to go up the fig tree to see if he can... He will climb down safely. He knows how to climb up and down. Guess what? Check this out. Drip, drip, drip. A little tiny puddle appears in the green umbrella. A tiny tree frog leaps down and slips into the water. Hola, Froggy says happily. Hola. Say hola. That means hello. I have this pedal all to myself. And he sinks down into the water until only his eyes pop out. So... The next animal, just like the other books, will be over here. And you can see Carlos making his way up the fig tree in these pictures. Plop, a juicy fig, falls smack into the umbrella. Toucan is not far behind. Froggy sees Toucan's sharp beak. Veet, veet, he peeps. Say that, veet, veet. It means go away, go away. But Toucan is not moving. He's eating the fallen fig and waiting for another one to fall. So now there is a tree frog and a toucan and high in the tree scratch scratch sound starts scratch 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 something is sliding down the tree and it gets louder and louder until boom kinkajou 
tumbles into the umbrella. Muy grande. Say that. Muy grande. Froggy squeaks. That means you're too big. You can't stay here, Toucan says. But Kinkajou is just getting comfortable. After prowling around all night, listen, Kinkajou is a nocturnal animal. That means he's awake at night and sleeps during the day. He's found the best place to rest. Kinkajou wants to take a nap in the umbrella with Toucan and Froggy. Now there are three animals in the umbrella. Thump, crash, thump. Baby Tapir blunders into the green umbrella. What? What? He bawls, Mama. No, esta aquí, she says, or er, Froggy shouts. That means she's not here. Your mom's not here. Along with Hungry Toucan and Sleepy Kinkajou, the umbrellas, shiny green leaves, shiver and shake but baby tapir is staying here until his mother comes for him so now we have tree frog toucan toucan kinkajou and baby tapir with more to come no i want to die oh this beautiful bird swish swish the most beautiful bird sails down onto the umbrella handle. The bird is a Quetzal. Say that word, Quetzal. Quetzal looks down at Froggy, Toucan, Kinkajou, and Baby Tapir rocking back and forth in the umbrella. Fly away, they call up. But proud Quetzal is too busy arranging her plumes to listen to them. So now there's Tree frog, toucan, kinkajou, baby tapir un in the umbrella, and proud Quetzal is on the umbrella handle. And do you know who's coming next? And he does something mischievous. Watch what he does. Suddenly, frisky monkey jumps down grabs the umbrella and flings it into the river and jumps on board. Uh, que pasa? Say que pasa. Que pasa. Froggy shouts, what's happening? What? Que pasa means what's happening. Froggy asks as water starts to pour into the umbrella. We'll sink for sure. Toucan, Kinkajou, Baby Taper, and Quetzal all wail together. That monkey never thinks before he acts. Now they're floating down the river. In the umbrella is tree frog, toucan, uh, baby taper, baby kinkajou, taper, shy, shy taper and baby kinkajou, uh, quetzal on the handle, monkey in the umbrella. Oh. Listen, attention, say that, attention, At yeah, attention, that means attention. Who's sitting on me, Froggy cries. Stop poking your beak into me, Kinkajou shouts at Toucan. Mwah, balls baby taper. You're getting all my feathers wet, Quetzal squawks at Monkey. And guess who's watching from the side of the river? Monkey's already in the umbrella. Jaguar is cleaning his silky black spots when he hears all the squabbling. Squabbling is like arguing and looks up. I see the frog on the other one. Jaguar is going to wonder what's going on. What do you think he will do? Baby, are you? Oh, maybe 
as the umbrella floats by, he pounces in. That means he jumps, making it sink even deeper into the water. The animals scramble and squirm out of Jaguar's way. They're kind of scared of him because he could eat them all. Froggy says, no problema. Say that, no problema. That means no problem, you're right. Be our guest, the animals cry. Just don't eat us up, is what they think to themselves. What? Keep your hands to self. Now, the umbrella is starting to sink even more into the water. If another animal comes in, it might sink all the way. Do you remember the animal that was the last animal that made the bear sneeze and the mitten blow off? The mouse, it was a little tiny mouse. This one, the last animal, is hummingbird. Hummingbird flashes by, smaller than small. He sees the big green umbrella sticking up. It's just the place to stop for a rest. He's about to land, and they all start shouting, No room! Jaguar snarls. Move on, monkey hollers. Find another place, Quetzal sings out. We got here first, Kinkajou growls. Stay away, Toucan screeches. Blah, baby tapir balls. Adios, goodbye. Say adios. Adios, that means goodbye. Adios, goodbye, froggy peep, peeps. But hummingbird lands anyway. And just as he lands on top of the umbrella, the entire thing goes curse. <laughs> They all are dumped into the water. <laughs> now, the umbrella tumbles, tumbles over and everyone falls out. Jaguar, Quetzal, Baby Tapir, Kinkajou, Toucan, Monkey, and Froggy, Froggy all clamor up the bank as the umbrella hops to the surface and drifts back to shore. And they say, wow, that was kind of an adventure. The, ja the jaguar. The jaguars. Up in the fig tree, if you've been paying attention, Carlos got to the top of the fig tree while all this was happening. Carlos, now remember, what is Carlos looking for? Where are all the animals when he's climbing up the fig tree? In the umbrella. Carlos looks out at the top of the fig tree, out at the sea of green. No animals today, he sighs. I wonder where they all are. They're all down there. He climbs down, picks up his umbrella, and starts walking home. We don't see it here. But we'll see it on the next page. The sun shines through here. He's holding the umbrella. The sun shines through the leaves on the umbrella and Carlos sees the silhouette, that's like a shadow, of the tree frog. The tree frog is still on the umbrella. Hey, little froggy, try hitching, hiking with me tomorrow and I'll show you a real adventure. I'm going back to the cloud forest to find a toucan, a kinkajou, maybe even a monkey or a shy taper. I bet I'll see a jaguar too. And I'm going to find a quetzal for sure. 
All of them in, are in the water. <laughs> the jaguar? Yeah. All the animals are peeking out. Now, Carlos props the umbrella up next to the house. Drip, drip, drip. Water falls from the roof and a little puddle forms in the green umbrella, just like at the beginning. Froggy slides down the handle and slips into the water. Ola, Froggy says. What does Ola mean? Ola means hello. Adios means goodbye. Ola means hello. Well, hello there. I have this puddle all to myself. Ooh. Just like he said at the beginning in the forest. Ola, I have this puddle all to myself. Do you think he will keep him by himself? Hmm. Here is a picture of Jan Brett, the author illustrator that we're learning about this week. What the earth? That's what she looks like. Yep. And that is the umbrella, as read to you by Mr. Beam to his group of. Oh, you're so awesome. <laughs>